To the sound of a military tune, people file in and out of Shimbin Naval Base in southern Taiwan. The Navy has opened its doors to show people how it plans to protect them. They're showing off home-produced military hardware, and this ship is the star of the show, making its public debut. The Yushan is a new amphibious transport vessel, the biggest of its kind Taiwan has ever made. Steelworker Wang Hongjun brought his daughter and nephew to take a look. I've come to support our national defense as we face threats from China. Taiwan's awareness of the need for self-defense is relatively weak. But if the military often holds events like this, it's a chance for people to become familiar with the Navy, as well as our own national defense. Media are welcome to take the Navy's message around Taiwan and beyond. Taiwan's defense ministry has invited media to tour the 150-meter-long vessel, which only entered service earlier this year. The aim? To send a message to its people, but also Beijing, that the island democracy is ready for war. It's a goal that's ever more pressing. Chinese military intimidation of Taiwan has soared in recent years, and Taiwan's ships may face this. China's aircraft carrier, the Shandong, which recently transited the Taiwan Strait. It's a ship that dwarfs any in Taiwan's navy. Taiwan's new home-produced gear may look flashy, but the gulf in defense capability with Beijing is vast, and it's widening. That stark imbalance worries many in Taiwan, including Tsai Zhonglin. He used to be a soldier, but left the army, skeptical it was battle-ready. Regular units put too much emphasis on duties unrelated to war. I'm worried the army wouldn't be able to fight a war in its current state. He decided to do what he could to draw attention to his worries. So he walked around Taiwan's mainland, all the way around. The 1,100-kilometer walk took 48 days. It was a one-man warning of the threat posed by Beijing. Taiwan has always been in a more precarious situation than other countries. For people here to have no concept of national defense is really dangerous. The government is taking some action to make people feel safer. From next year, Taiwan will extend the conscription period for men from four months to one year. But a more fundamental message underpins events like this, a reminder to Taiwan's people of the threat that made building warships like this necessary in the first place. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.